Galnet News Digest, 16th of May 3305. We read the news so you don't have to. In this week's news, Mega Jump Mishap creates competence questions. Galaxy and Meltdown's cheat module exposed. Seven weeks missing. More gripping goings on. Mega Jump Mishap creates competence questions. Segnan Exchange has claimed that the late running of the inaugural Megabus service to the Guardian Ruins demonstrates that Zendi partners are incapable of running the service properly, and they've offered to step in to take over. Thursday the 16th of May should have been a big day for Zendi, with the conduit setting off for the first time on its weekly rural bus route timetable to help commanders uncover the secrets of the Guardians and to lure a Guardian technologist to come to live in the system. But there was egg on the Zendi partners' faces when the time for departure came and went and the megaship stayed resolutely immobile. Commanders waking up aboard were shocked and confused to find they hadn't moved. The company issued a somewhat lame excuse that the driver had got stuck in the lift on his way to the bridge. But did that really happen to drivers of both ships at the same time? Cedric Stone of rival organisation Segnan Exchange has been spreading rumours that Zendi partners are already in financial trouble and didn't have the money to pay for the Jumponium, and has said that if Zendi partners are unable to fulfil their commitments, they should stand aside and let a more capable outfit run the transports. The megaships finally made their jumps one hour late, which is good, because it entitles all passengers to a 50% rebate on their fares. Galaxy and Meltdown as Cheat Module Exposed There's been an outcry this week following revelations that some commanders have a special module fitted that allows them to reconfigure the colour of their ship's heads-up display. Cheating commanders have been able to configure pretty pink or soothing cyan schemes, while honest commanders have to make do with boring old orange. But it's even worse than that. There are rumours that the module can make far more serious changes, including making your hollow me look vaguely like you want it. The Pilots' Federation has made it quite clear that any commanders caught cheating will suffer the most severe consequences imaginable a three-day shadow ban, and a sternly worded email. Seven weeks missing. 67 commanders joined the first great planetary expedition, but figures obtained by Galnet Digest reveal that after nearly seven weeks, only 15 of them have arrived at the finish line. Commander Alec Turner, who organised the expedition to drive round the planet Kume in a fleet of SRVs, is among the missing. His philosophy is that if a thing's worth doing, it's worth doing in the slowest, most complicated and difficult way possible, and it seems likely that he's chosen to circumnavigate the planet in a zigzag pattern. The 15 successful commanders are easy to find. They've been stinking out the bars in Bridger Town and leaving little trails of sand wherever they go. Their skin has been sunburned to a wrinkly crisp texture, except for a startlingly pale circle around each eye, where their goggles went. Concerns are growing for the many missing commanders amid fears that they may have become trapped in narrow canyons, have sunk into the shifting sands of a remote desert, or have lost their way and be driving round and round in lots of very small circles, instead of one very big one. In his last communication, before the current radio silence, Commander Turner said that he thinks of the members of the first great planetary expedition as family. The sort of family, presumably, that you lose touch with. More gripping goings on. In a thrilling follow-up to the ongoing mystery of the missing Diamondback Explorer, staff at Fort Dixon in Vega reported this week that two tonnes of hydrogen fuel have gone missing from the station's inventory. Staff reportedly ran two stock checks, and on each occasion the hydrogen was still missing. Then they remembered that they'd used the canisters to prop up the leg of a wonky table, and it all turned out to be a silly mistake. 
perhaps someone should check whether the missing Diamondback Explorer has been parked round the back of the station. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to. <laughs>